There's a let the meat cake, hauteur to finance minister and deputy prime minister Christian Freeland's propensity to make out of touch comments. No doubt she's trying to make us believe she's one of us and feels our pain. She isn't. She doesn't, and it's patronizing and condescending to suggest otherwise. Last November, she said she understood the sacrifices Canadians are making because of soaring prices. Things were so bad, she cancelled her Disney Plus subscription. I personally, as a mother and wife, look carefully at my credit card bill once a month, and last Sunday I said to the kids. You're older now. You don't watch Disney anymore. Let's cut that Disney Plus subscription, she said in a TV interview. I believe that I need to take exactly the same approach with the federal government's finances. Because that's the money of Canadians, she said. She was forced to apologize for her insensitivity. Her comment showed a shocking ignorance of the sacrifices people are making to survive. As a cabinet minister, she makes $279,000 a year, plus expenses. There are people who make choices daily between groceries and rent. Yet our homegrown Marie Antoinette tells the kids to cut back on a $12 a month streaming subscription. In Prince Edward Island last week, Freeland told residents worried about the impact of the Liberals' carbon tax to ride a bike. Or build a subway. I don't actually own a car because I live in downtown Toronto. I'm like, I don't know, 300 meters from the nearest subway. I make my kids walk and they bike and take the subway. I can live with that, she said. One of the perks that comes with her lavish salary is a car and a chauffeur. Both of which she regularly uses. Imagine the sacrifices her kids are making. First Disney. Now they have to take the subway. Oh, the humanity. She didn't mention most parents are too fearful to let their kids use Toronto's subway system for fear they become another crime statistic. And her government has done little to stem the wave of lawlessness. If Freeland needs help balancing the book's next budget, she should ask someone on a fixed income with no chauffeur how they manage to put food on the table.